What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Evan. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing. In today's video, we will be adding some more girth and a more aggressive look to my BMW F10 by adding Burger Motorsports spacers. Now, I've been wanting to do this for a very long time. I think I'm going to do this on my E46 too, so this video applies to all cars, but stay tuned. I think we'll be doing this on my E46. But in today's video, we will be installing 10 millimeter spacers in the front and 15 millimeter spacers in the rear. This is such a simple and awesome mod you can do to any BMW to give it a more aggressive look and also improve handling and just the overall driving experience of the car, which I'm very excited for. So taking a look at the actual spacers, we have two boxes, one for the front and one for the rear. Yes, you order these independently so you can do two different sizes. So 10 mil for the front, let's take a look at them. So we have the wheel spacers right here, super nice quality. And then right here, this is very important, we have new bolts and these bolts are actually extended a little bit because you got to think the fact that you have a spacer now so we have 10 mil in the front and 15 millimeter in the back so the back bolts are actually going to be a little longer than the front and it says it right on here if you look um, it says length l36 millimeter so they're a little longer and who doesn't love new bolts so this is going to be awesome we also have some anti-seize to put on the back of the spacer just so it doesn't seize to the actual hub and it's super simple to do this. This mod is an awesome mod. I can't believe I haven't done this sooner. I really want to do this on the E46 now. I'm really excited for the improved handling and the aesthetics and the wider stance that this car is going to have because if we look at it now, I'll show you guys in a second, the rear tires sit in too much. So I'll definitely do some before and afters, but let me show you guys right now what it looks like and then we'll jack up the car, take off the wheels and get started. One thing to note, definitely recommend using a torque um, wrench. I think Burger Motorsport says like 86 for E series and like a hundred and something for F series. I gotta double check that. I have that written down on my phone, but I do know the F series need to be torqued a little higher. So definitely use a torque gun. Don't put these on with an impact. So let's take a look at how the car currently sits. So if we look at the rear right now, you can see that the back tire is really sunken in. Yes, this car does have a little bit of camber, um, but it's just sunken in so much. And I think having these spacers, 15 millimeter, what I was recommended, I think will look perfect using these burger tuning spacers. And here's just a quick look at the front. In just a little, I think 10 mil will be a really nice look for the car. So definitely super excited. These burger motorsport spacers are gonna look awesome. So let's get the car jacked up. Yes, my wheels are a little bit wet. I did rinse them off just so I had some clean wheels. And don't mind the curb rash. These rims do have a little bit of curb rash. Don't worry, I will be getting these rim rims powder coated very soon, just like I did on the BMW E46. And I absolutely love the look of powder coated rims. So that will be another mod in a whole different day. But if you guys have any suggestions of what color I should get these rims powder coated, drop in the comments below. I'm open to hear it. All right, now that the car's jacked up, it's time to take off the wheel. I do have a wheel lock, so just be careful if you guys have one. You won't be able to use your wheel locks with this kit unless you got an extended wheel lock bolt. But another thing to keep in mind, when you guys are taking off your lugs, get something like this. A This is a 17 millimeter socket, deep well obviously, and it has this plastic piece around so you don't scuff up your rims, which I really like. So let's take off the rims. And depending on how long this rim's been on there, it's kind of corroded to the actual hub. So you may need to use some force and hit it around. So as you can see, pretty bad corrosion right here. And this is where it was stuck to. So we're gonna have to take off this dust cap. According to Burger Motorsport, it won't sit. We're gonna sand all this down. If you have a wire wheel or something like that, this is the time to sand this down. Make this nice and flush too. Make this, get rid of all that corrosion. So we're gonna do that now. All right, with the hub all cleaned up and I also cleaned up this area in the wheel well, we're gonna take some of this anti-seize compound and we're gonna apply it to the factory hub. So we're just gonna apply it everywhere where it would meet. I might just put it on the back of the 
burger tuning spacers just because it'd be easier to know where I'm putting it all. And I am not wearing a glove for this just because I don't want to get it everywhere. And then we also have this to help align it. So we can probably just thread this in now or after and just spin it. I don't, again, I don't think it really matters, but let's take some of this. Okay, now we can take the actual spacer and install. And just line it up, and then we will actually thread on the tool right here to make it easier to install our wheels. And it's really as simple as that to install the spacers. Once this is on, we can throw the wheels on using the provided bolts. Now with the spacer on, and the wheel tool in, we can place the tire, or rather wheel, back on, making it super easy, and we have new provided bolts that are a little longer, and I'll show you the comparison in a second. Let's just get this tire on. All right, so here is the comparison. These are just with 10 millimeter spacers, but you can see quite a bit longer. Actually, this is my wheel lock one that I will not be using, but quite a bit longer. So let's put all these in and then torque them to spec. All right, so I am going to put them in on an impact gun, but I will be putting them on the lowest setting just to buzz them in and then I'll torque them to spec myself. I know this gun gets pretty close to spec just based off of um, using it so, so much, but let's just put these in. So we are now going to torque the wheels down. On E-Series, it's 88 pound-feet, and on F-Series, it's 103. So I have my torque wrench set, and I'm just gonna go around and torque them all down. And we're done. So let's move on to the back, and then I'll show you guys how it looks. All right, guys, so it's actually a couple of weeks later. I've been driving on the burger tuning spacers, and I wanna give you guys a look outside of what the actual spacers look like. So here's the back. The back fitment is perfectly flush. Super happy with the back, really like it. it. Definitely gives a more aggressive look from the back where you can see it just sticks out just a little more. Really like that, super flush. Now let's take a look at the front, but the back is sitting very, very nice. Again, excuse the curved rims, got the car like this. I will be changing these color of the rims I will be getting them powder coated so if you guys have any suggestions for this car the car is carbon black I am thinking of black rims or maybe just darker rims I don't know something a little darker for these and it will definitely look amazing so let's take a look at the front now so here's the front it does poke out just a tad but I kind of like it honestly I'm not gonna lie I think the aggressiveness in the front I dig so there's how that's sitting just, it does poke out a little bit, but these are the smallest spacers. These are 10s up front and 15s in the rears. And I think, honestly, it fits the car very well. So I'm super happy with the way that it fits on the car. All right, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me installing Burger Motorsport spacers on my BMW F10. This mod is an awesome mod to do to any BMW. Definitely gives the car a little more of aggressive styling in. Guys, you know what's next. The E46 needs some spacers now. It looks so good on the F10 and it improves handling and it just feels more planted. I really like the other features you get with the spacers, not just the more aggressive look, but it feels better, it handles better, and I really like that about these spacers. They're super high quality. They come with anti-seize to coat the back of the actual hub so they never seize. It's just, these are awesome spacers, super high quality, and you won't have any issues running these. So if you guys wanna see me get these on the E46, give this video a huge thumbs up. Check out Burger Tuning down below. They have awesome things besides spacers. They make tunes, they make catch cans, they make intakes, they make some awesome stuff for any BMW. So check them out at the link below and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.